<laughs> That's one small step for Kel and one large step for Kelkind. That's not how it goes. You don't get to decide how it goes. You weren't here first. Wait, hold on. Is that my butt certificate? Sh shining a bright red as always as I read Luster and Max back at Amori. Hello. Max, I got a chocolate chip cookie. Okay. I'm eating it. Bunny. Death. More bunny murder. We should check how many bunnies we have ended. How many that we put in the slaughter? How many bunnies will it take to put- Ooh, that's a blue watermelon. That. Then that's a bunny. What? Who's upside down? He's from Australia! <laughs> Bizarro bunny! No! Forest bunny? Question mark? Here, hero, you take the ball. Nice. Ow. It missed. Oh. Well, I guess I'll just pound it into submission. You will submit for us, bunny, question mark. Ah. Haha, balancing yourself atop your ears was not an advantage for you. You cannot hide your banana smoothie from me. Three leaf clover. clover. I'm guessing that is an ornament. Or a charm. It's just a regular clover. But we get three luck. Yes. I feel so lucky with a three leaf clover. Ah, uh, yes. Wait, I thought four leaves are the ones that were lucky. They are. Oh. That's why it only makes you feel slightly lucky. Hello, funny... funny. Hello, funny, funny bunny hater. <laughs> By looking into your eyes, I can say that you killed seven bunnies. Splendid! I see you've destroyed more bunnies. That's seven bunnies obliterated. Thank you so much, fellow bunny hater. You got a cotton ball. Now go on and destroy more bunnies. Ah, oh, come on. Alright, okay, I guess he's an endless quest. Uh, well, let's find out what Cotton Ball even does. Uh, pocket. Well, it does not appear to be food. But we'll use some food anyway, because we are hurting. We'll use some candy on more. That heals him exactly how much we need. Yes. Dandelion has a calming effect. Removes emotion from a friend or foe. Oh, okay. Uh, Important. Self sent there. Maybe it's in an equipment. Uh, okay. Well, Aubrey. A fluffy ball of cotton. Plus one defense, plus three speed. You probably okay, took it from the bunny. I'm sorry, what'd you say, Max? I said, who has the lowest defense? Oh. I actually don't know. Though I don't know if Kel will be willing to part with his pet rock actor. Oh. Oh. Uh, let's let him keep Hector. Uh, skills. We sh uh, make sure that uh, sad poem. Guard, observe. Can we use deals critical hit? Oh. Ignore his defense when Amori is sad. Oh. Oh. Alright, what about I guess you? Keep that in mind. Okay, you don't got any more skills. Cal? Oh. That's a good one. What about you? And hero has cooking massage. Removes the friend or foe's emotion. Right. Mostly okay. use just hero for healing. No, no more bunnies! No, I do not wish to participate in the slaughter of more bunny rabbits. Jax. More Jax. Jax and a melon. That! 
Ah! I'm tired of all these random encounters. Uh. A hard bulb. You hear something struggling inside. Huh. Hmm. Well, can't help you. Oh, that. Ah! Why don't you just run? Because experience. Oh, melon! Melon! Oh, melon. Mel I need melon! 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 Oh, bracelet! You've got a bracelet. Well, Hero's got free slot. Oh. Oh, that's a lot of defense, okay. Wow, I feel so protected by my bracelet. That I found in this melon. This melon that was blue. You know, you, I, I would assume that the blue melons are supposed to be like, ah! uh, This melon that I assumed there would be more rare items in. I think he just left the forest. What? How'd it go in a circle? Oh, I guess well. it just goes in the one big circle. We need to go back anyway. Need to heal and save up. Hello everyone, how's it going? Have you found Basil yet? Hey Mary. No luck so far, I'm afraid. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. I wish there was a way it could help more. We're all doing our best. Maybe we should start looking outside this forest. I know! Why don't we try climbing that really long ladder? The one east of the stump. We can't do that! Omori is afraid of heights! But what if Basil's somewhere up there? We gotta take our chances. I know. But... Mori, you're going stronger and stronger every day. You can handle climbing the ladder, can't you? Come on, little brother. Face your fears. It's natural to be nervous at first, but you should know that we all believe in you. Come on, Omori, it's just one little measly ladder. What's the worst that can happen? I fall to my death! Yeah. I don't know about this. Do you think you're going to be okay, Omori? No! Nah, I'm fine. Okay, if you're okay with it, then I'm okay with it too. But if you get scared, you always count on me to back you up. Unless you fall, in which I'll just watch you. And laugh. Uh, I wasn't going to be that cruel about it, but... What else can they do? Uh, I know, gasp in horror. To laugh. Jeez, Max. To laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Let's -a go, let's -a go! To the ladder at East of the Stump. What did I tell you? Oh god, Mario, no! I'm gonna pick any hips. No, not my other leg! That's about where I broke the first one! God! I told you once, I told you again. Don't mess with the video. Also, big guy wants something. Oh, he does, but first we're gonna stuff our faces with candy. Hey, big chungus. Oh, they lost the ball. Oh. Hey, Van, something wrong with Burly? She seems a little upset. Oh, about that. Well, you see. Uh, let me explain. Look at this pole! Can you believe it? What are we looking at? Yeah, I don't see it. Exactly. I said it before it even came up. Exactly. The tether ball is missing. 
Man used his arms to swim too hard. Now the ball's gone far off somewhere. Never to be seen again. I told you not to use your arms, Van. Gotta use your head. Like this. Sorry, Burly. Using my head all the time gives me a headache. That's because you don't have a hard head like I do. Oh, something just hit me. Yeah, Burly. I'm sure I saw the ball flying off somewhere in that direction. Back where we came? Into the vast forest? Ugh. I'll never find it now. Might as well be lost forever. Hey, don't sweat it, Burley. We'll look for the ball for you. Heh. <laughs> you sure you want to do that? Vast Forest is a pretty dangerous place, you know. One time I even got into a super grisly brawl with this ugly plant creature with dead, empty eyes and a gaping mouth. I outwit it, of course, being cool and smart and all. There's no monster in all the universe that can outrun me. Heh. <laughs> Say, Amori, why don't you and your friends go with Burley to keep her out of trouble? I had to go myself, but... Van! Browse ran over bangs again! Aw, oh, jeez, there's my cue. I'm coming, Happy! Be safe out there, you guys. I'll see you when you get back. Come on, Burley, let's go find our lost ball. We don't have anything to worry about as long as we're together. Heh, <laughs> sure. Just don't get in my way when I show off my totally amazing headbutt skills. Eh. Let's just get this over with. Early join your party. Yep, I guess it's time to go back to the divorce. Uh, do we have to? Yes, we do. Oh, well, we'll do this real quick, and by real quick, I mean we're just gonna ballin'. We're gonna be ballin' and trawlin' and fallin' and probably brawlin'. Well, this is the train station, not the fast forest. Yeah, yeah. Alright, what was I saying? I don't know. Oh, right, you were saying this isn't the way towards the forest, but technically they're both ways to the forest. I just figured it'd be easier to go to the end rather than the beginning. Just see if it landed anywhere in this area. I guess I'll go to the other one. Now, should we check all the caves? Uh, I don't think the ball would end up in a cave. She said something about a plant monster, so I don't know. Well, the only plant monster we've seen is those little uh, turnip things, and then the the big one. That. But yeah, I figured this would be the easiest way, because maybe we can cut off, and maybe I'm wrong, and this is a whole waste of time. But you know what? That's just how it is in the Red Luster Show. We waste time. We waste time. Ugh. Now nah, I lost track which direction I was going. Uh, maybe it's by the... Uh Hey, it worked. Did it feel like fighting this time? Nope. Oh. No, nope, I guess that's not where the ball would go. I told you, it's probably one of the caves. Ah. What cave, though? This one? Let's check. Hi! Oh. Just a tire swing. Okay. Right here. I wonder why that spooky thing was by the tire swing. Something bad probably happened next to it. Oh, so that's... Back the way you came. Uh... <laughs> Alright. That... Uh... She's not doing the math. Well, yeah, I mean, I saw the bunny was angry, so I figured it'd be an easy, you know, wipe out, but he got one hit in. 
And that did a lot of damage. Dog? Oh, there he is. Oh, yes, demon. Let's heal up first, because I have a feeling he's not going to be happy to see us. Uh, oh, this heals everybody. Alright, now we're all full health and ready to get mauled by a dog. Would you like to pet the dog? Yes. You pet the dog. Hey. Oh. You felt something in your hand. Oh, cherry soda. Good dog. Is, there, is it in the doghouse? No. Oh. You would think of all places to find a ball, it would be by the doghouse. You know, it just makes sense. Oh, bun. Uh, radish. Mm. Can't go up the ladder. That. Ah! Oh. oh. Oh, when you run from them, they turn transparent for a bit to let you get away from them before they resume moving. That's nice. Yeah, but also means they're still be there, so... If they're blocking something, then no choice. Alright, so I guess we're back at the bridge. Maybe it's up by the dock area? Maybe. I'm running out of places to look. Did we check the whole forest? No, but... I don't know. It feels weird to go in the other areas because it just feels like it's not really part of the forest. Tentacle? No. Alright, what about here? Nope. Nope, no, not nearby a wisdom wreck. Not by the rock of wisdom that gives really good advice, even when you only pay it three clams. Alright, it's not by the train station either. Oh, bun. Bun, I do not wish to commit bun genocide, but you are making me commit bun <laughs> genocide. Did you check the bushes? I cannot interact with the bushes. Okay. Melon! Remnants. That's just... Yeah, that just leads back to the other side, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, it's gotta be around here somewhere, then. Well, that was... The other cave with that big uh, plant. The bulb? Yeah. That... Get out of my way, bun! I got places to be! What? What? Tree! Uh... Oh, no fight. I guess fight the tree. Big, strong tree. Wow. Wow. Um... Um... Uh... Huh. Stab the tree? <laughs> Stab the tree! There's not like much else we can do. Nice! Two damage. We'll definitely take the tree down at this rate. Um. That's so random. Why is that one tree a monster? Maybe it has the ball. Yeah, well, we can't hit it. We can't, we can't do any damage to it. The only thing that we did that did any damage is that... We can't do any damage to the tree. Well, oh, we maybe found... Maybe you can save up... Oh. Poetry buff. Maybe you save up energy to do it. Maybe. And hit it with an all-out attack. Sounds like a good thing. 
It was orange too, so it's probably in your pocket. Oh, okay. It's probably makes people sad. Toys. Poetry book. Inflicts. Yep. Yeah. So, oh. There it is. Sweet. There's my ball. Got my ball back. Got the ball back. Finally. Let's take this bad boy to the playground. I meant you to play some tether ball. Dang it. I guess we'll come back and fight that tree another time. At, for whatever reason. Okay. But we will have to get stronger first because we can't do any damage with our normal attacks and that is our current uh, bread and butter. Speaking of bread, you got bread slice. I did. Well, that was fun. Nah, I... I'm gonna play some tetherball. Well, where is your head button skills? See you later, alligators. I'm out of here. But seriously, come see me before you go. I got something special for you. Okay. Hey, what'd you get me? Hey, dudes. Thanks for getting my ball back. As you can got see, I'm putting back. it... <laughs> got the ball back. I love my ball. <laughs> I love my ball. Yep, she sure is. I was thinking, since you're also kind of helping me out, I'm gonna be generous and teach you my special skill. First, I got a question for y'all. Which one of you has the hardest head? Well, duh, that'd have to be Aubrey. What'd you just say? Whoa, chill out. No hard feelings. Haha. <laughs> Get it? Heh. <laughs> that sounds about right. Alright, Aubrey, I'm gonna teach you a skill. Just between hardhead folk like us. It's my specialty. Headbutt! It's simple, really. You just run up to someone and... Heh. <laughs> Wham! Hey, we can use it against the tree. Now you can try. That looks like it would hurt, and also mess up my hair, and ruin my bow. Oh, come on, Aubrey, live a little. Having messy hair never hurt anyone. Hero's living proof of that. Yeah, you bet. Huh. Fine. So if I'm doing this, I'm gonna give it all I got. Ugh. I feel dizzy. Whoa, nice one, Aubrey. I knew I saw talent in you. Congratulations! You now have brain damage. You passed the test with flying cars. concussion. Oh, good. A concussion. Huh? What's happening? From this day forth? I hereby declare you a bona fide headbutter. Aubrey learned headbutt. And take this certificate. Show your friends. I'm sure they'll be proud. You got a butt certificate. <laughs> nice. Hmm. Maybe we can use it on that tree. Uh, the headbutt? Well, there's only one way to find out. Eh. Uh, I don't know, we were able to stab it. Just one quick little headbutt. If that doesn't work, you can just run. Alright, I guess we can go headbutt the tree. Besides, you gotta climb up that ladder anyway. Tree! Alright, headbutt! Stronger when Aubrey's angry. Oh, we can just do that easily. Uh, yeah, which one of us can make us angry? Um, boy who throws ball. Right. Annoy. The hero, just smash it. Alright, just attack the tree. Just 
So we'll get zeros across the board. Alright, skill. Headbutt! Zero. Oh, we got a crit. Aww. All it did was hurt her. We got an animation for it. That's cute, but we can't hurt this tree. Oh, should we stab it in its heart? Yeah. I didn't think about that sentence until you mentioned it. That's true. I think Happy gives us more crits. Oh, yeah. Wait, you want to try the ladder in here? Uh, I don't know if it'll let us go, because that's the wrong ladder, isn't it? I, I, get, I mean, there's two ladders, so I don't know. Ah, blood! Plus the, plus the blood is leaving, leaving that way, so I just thought... Let's see if they'll let us take it or not. Alright. Wait, this is the... Uh... Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, okay, we, we were trying this way because there's footprints. I wanted to go towards the... <laughs> Man, I'm gonna hate myself for how much I'm gonna have to edit this series. That. <laughs> well, at least we got some levels out of that one. Yeah. Uh, but I am getting kind of tired of these enemies having a magnetism to them. Alright. Heal. Yeah, nutritious candy. Ba -ba 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 -ba. What do you say, Max? Should we save? Good point. Good, good point. Yes. Oh, jeez. How long have we been recording? That's a good question. Oh, only 30 minutes, which a lot of it is probably just random encounters. So let's just keep going. Time Stop. for the moon. Oh wait, this is the ocean, not the ladder. Well, is the eyeball back? I don't want to know. Let's just pretend it was never there. Remember what Mary said, Amori. You're stronger than you think. No way, we'll be right behind you. And if you fall, we'll be right here to catch you. Cal, don't scare him. You won't fall, Mori. I promise. I never had a problem going up ladders, it's coming down. I just have a problem with ladders. Uh, hands. Don't get handsy with me. Oh. You are no longer afraid of heights. Man, I know there's a reason why I never climbed this ladder, but I can't put my finger on it. It's on the tip of my tongue. Oh well. Here goes nothing. I thought the only reason why you never climbed it is because the more is afraid of heights. It was on the tip of my tongue. Oh well. Oh well. Okay. Oh, wait, hold up, guys. Shoot. Where is he? I just had him. Where is who? Hector, my pet rock. I swear, I just had him in my pocket. Oops. No! Hector! must have fallen out of my pocket when I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, Hector. I should have been more careful. What's the big deal? It's just a rock, right? Don't you dare say that. He's not just a rock. He's family. Don't worry. I'm sure it'll turn up soon, Cal. Probably. I sure hope so. Wait for me, Hector. I'll find you. I promise. And then he landed in Breaking Bat. What the hell? Snake! Snake. Snake. Sss. What a thrill. 
Oh. Ha ha ha. Snake Eater reference. What? Why, why are we going up with... Where are we? Dinosaur. Why are there a dinosaur here? Two melons. Melon. First. Second. Third. Ugh. 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 The ladder. It just... Ugh. Never ends. <laughs> That's one small step for Kel and one large step for Kel kind. That's not how it goes. You don't get to decide how it goes. You weren't here first. Wait, hold on. Is that my butt certificate? Take that thing down right now. What if somebody sees it? No way, look at this thing fluttering in the wind. So majestic, so beautiful. Hero, do something. He's out of breath. Uh, Just give a moment. One sec. Uh, just catching my breath. Yeah, I just said that. Actually, give me a minute. Never mind. Achievement. Alright. Aubrey's butt certificate. So majestic. So beautiful. Cheap. Otherworld campsite. Cattail field. Okay. Guess we're going up. Woo! Otherworld. We're in space. I go space, space, space. That's a dinosaur rocket house. Now how'd you get here? She just seems to get around, I guess. Hello! Gumbo. Happy! Okay. So many humans today. You guys are such big fans of space travel. Yes. Yes. A big machine. Buy a tasty soda for a hundred clams. What a ripoff. I just, I'm just surprised, like, how are we shoving clams into a vending machine? Just get in there. Maybe another time. What about you two can join twins? At times like this, I remind that our universe is beautiful. Okay, bye. Welcome to Otherworld. An unofficial pit stop for wary space travelers in a popular family-friendly campground. Ah. Don't you just love the smell of firewood? And the sound of running water? And the crisp space breeze? It all makes the vast emptiness of space a little more bearable, don't you think? I guess. In a sense. Ah yes, some lovely space tube food. Would you like to eat some? Sure. Crunchy. Damn. All right. Save on the moon. Whoops. All right. We should call it here. Alrighty. Uh, what is your wisdom, Max? Space. In space. That's all. Did you hit the space key on your keyboard? No. I can if you want to. Then what was that sound? That? Yeah. That's my phone. I choose to believe that you hit the space key for a comedic effect. No, this is what the space key sounds like. Ah, key mashing. 
Eh. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. This has been Red Luster, signing out. Bye-bye.